so hello and welcome to our new class okay. of tableau we are using tableau public desktop software here which is the free version of tableau and using this software we will analyze this excel file this excel file is a file where many orders are saved so this data set is a collection of orders received by a company over a period of four years we already discussed about this file in previous classes so the important thing that we want to discuss today is this particular file has three sheets so this is one excel file where three sheets are there and th you will get many such data sets where one file will not be sufficient enough to define the data or one file will not be sufficient enough to you know provide complete information in order to provide complete information several files may be there so like in this case we have three files okay so in order to explain this concept further what i will do is i will create a very simple excel file so that you will understand what is happening so in this excel file i will create a sheet called a student master so this is a sheet where i will store information like a student id name city so let's say student id is 1 name is mohan and city is delhi let's say student id is 2 name is tarak and let's say city is vijayak student id 3 let's say name is geeta and city is whatever we put three cities or whatever you want to see whatever information you want to add you can add here like name city age email date of birth things like that can be added here does it matter so here the important part is we have student id now we also have another sheet and this is let's say report card okay in this report card we have columns like student id and result okay here also we have student id here also we have but here we have these two columns so when i say student id 1 2 3 4 3 we have three students so i'll write up to 3 so let's say result is pass fail pass okay so we have these these two simple files so we have two tables here this table has you know student id column name and city this table has student id column and result okay the okay. difference difference between these two columns is these two tables is this table is a master table where it contains more attributes of students right it can have age it can have gender email yes yes you know what and many other things and uh, so let's say age is 23 24 25 okay gender is m m f whatever you can add so many columns but this particular table is just a two column table where we have student id and pass so how will you connect them like how will you be able to get the complete data like you know which of these students were able to pass which of these student could not pass so when you will join these two tables then only you will be able to tell right so in order to so in order to join what you will do 
student id is actually the common column between these two tables right this right so what you will do is you will select name from here a student id you will take a sheet and from report card you will select the result column and you will paste it right this way we will be able to tell that mohan passed tarak failed geeta passed right so this way we will be able to analyze data and do certain stuff similar is the case with our orders data so in our orders data we have a sheet called orders where every order has this id so this column is common similarly th this is another table where it is written that whether this order was returned or not you know if some orders were placed and some orders were returned okay so whichever order was written yes is written in front of it okay so their order id is written and yes is written that's why we will be able to tell if you just select this you will you can say 297 orders were written you can see here in excel itself in orders when you will select 9995 or so we have these many rows will also count how many distinct orders we have and then we also have people so people have this column called region okay in orders also we have a column called region region wise sales we can predict from here right so this column called region is the same as this column region okay so in, that's how you will join order with return and order with people now how can we join tables and how can we prepare our data in such a way that all these three sheets are part of our analysis this is what we are going to learn today it's a very simple exercise i am also recording the video after this uh, after this class is over i will share this video with both of you and then you can perform the same action and let me know if you have any difficulties so open your tableau tableau public we have right now and go to excel because our file is in excel okay so we will go to excel and connect the data once we have connected the data you can see we have three sheets okay this is very important thing at the at this screen you can see the sheets here okay and in these three sheets you can see we have orders people and returns okay so what we need to do is drag them and put on this screen so we drag and put here okay once you do that you drag and put data on this screen over here you will see the entire data set is loaded i told you in previous class also tableau divides or classifies data mainly into two parts one is dimensions and other is measures so for tableau we have dimensions and we have measures <laughs> measures is all numerical data and dimensions is all non numerical let's say non numerical categorical those type of variables are are our dimensions like name of city name of state name of category name of sub category all these are dimensions numerical data is like sales profit quantity where we use numbers numerics right quantity sales profit quantity discount these are our numerical data so tableau divides them into two parts dimension and measures dimensions are blue and measures are green okay now once we have this data screen ready with us we can simply do one more thing we can drag another table from here and put it like this so when you will do this it will create a relationship this is called a relationship okay you can see and this relationship define order to returns relationship okay so in order to returns relationship what is happening right now is if you will click here 
you know on on this relationship so you will see that order tables order id you can see here is equal to return tables order id so what it is saying is it has connected order id from this table with order id of this table okay so it is like orders dot order id equal to returns dot order id in both of these tables the name of order id is same that's why it it was able to recognize itself so this is how we have joined uh, returns so when i will click on returns i will see returns table when i will click on orders i will see orders table okay and if you just uh, click here you will be able to see the relationship relationship you can change also suppose by mistake a different column is you know uh, compared with uh, this column like a different column relationship is created so you can change uh, the columns also you can match separate columns so we will learn another tutorial where i will explain you how to connect 11 tables in one go okay that will be our live project so we'll do that later similarly we can also drag people so you have to join you don't have to join with returns okay if you will drag here it will join with returns you have to join with orders so make sure this line this guiding line will tell you that it is joining with returns similarly what is happening in returns so if you will click this line so order id equal to order id and people so region equal to region okay so both the uh, in both tables we have region named column and that is kind of joined with operator equal to you can change this operator also if suppose you don't want so you can use not equal to this sign represents not equal to where we have used both uh, less than and greater than sign so this is equal to okay now once we have joined them we will go to sheet okay now sheet is where we perform our activity but before that you can see here three tables are there okay you can see so three tables are there now in previous classes you saw only one table was there here you can see three tables are there when you will expand any one of them you will be able to see dimensions and measures listed separately okay so dimensions are measured uh, are put on top measures are on bottom similarly we have people similarly we have returns okay so this is something uh, that was the first part of our today's lecture if there is a file with uh, some columns like if there is a file with many you know common columns how to connect them okay let me show you one more example so here you can see another data set okay this data set is called north wind data set or sample this is also one sample superstore data set okay in this data set you can see there are these 12 files okay here you have regions shipper supplier territory and so on this is a big data set and a big project for us like as a sample you will learn this project this time the file is a csv file okay so when it's an excel file you can see it is stored as sheets in the same file stored as sheets but in case of csv file you know in case of csv file we use the sheets in one folder okay so i will give you this zip file you will get this zip file in your whatsapp today i will send then what you will do right click and extract the zip file and you will extract it into a folder and then connect with your tab so today i am going to talk about two files from this particular table okay 
or from this particular data set one is the products now you will uh, tell me what common value can you find so here is our products table okay <coughs> can you tell me name of measures and dimensions here hey what what will be product id is it a measure or a dimension so you are saying product id is a measure because you can see numbers here okay yeah but what what i want to tell you is whenever you, yeah exactly so both of you are correct actually so if we consider it as an integer like if we consider these numbers as integers obviously they are measures okay but since it's an id id is nothing but a name of a product right id is what identity of a product so this id is like if it was a person so this id is like pan number or aadhar number okay so that's why when you see id so next time you will consider it as dimension okay similarly product name is a dimension supplier id is also a dimension category id is a dimension okay quantity per unit here you can see alphabets obviously there there are numbers but it's a alpha numeric value so this is also a dimension now what is unit price is a measure right because here we don't have any you know and it is a continuous variable with uh, different numbers and it's a measure S same is units in stock what what is units in stock suppose we are selling this product called chang or any seed serum so we have 13 of these products in stock and units on order how many people have put these products on order 70 right 70 is on order what is the reorder level like when do we reorder this product when uh, uh, you know order level goes up to 25 okay is it discontinued like are we not selling the product zero means we are selling the product okay what is stock value stock value is like how many items like total what is what will be the stock value of this product like you know per stock what is the value so we yeah so uh, yeah all of them are measures right so they will be uh, green in color in tablet okay we don't have to worry about them but the thing is uh, let let's say this is one table okay this is products table similarly we also have in the same folder in the same very folder so in the same folder we have another table called categories okay so in this category table obviously this category table has only dimensions no measures but here we have category id okay in this table we have category id and if you look at this products table here also you have category id okay so x yeah so when when we will analyze this data so we have to create relationship between this category id and this category okay now there is one more thing here we also have supplier id okay what happens is when a trading company is uh, trading products selling products so usually there is a supplier or there are multiple suppliers who supply different products okay so here you can see products are from different categories like some of them are beverages some of them are condiments confections dairy products grain cereals meat poultry so a supplier who provides seafood may or may not provide beverages right so suppose imagine any superstore near you like spencer or big bazaar 
or easy day or whatever you have like walmart so what they do is they supply multiple items so they they do not produce all those items right what they do is uh, they get those products from different suppliers and then they sell it to customers okay so this is where supplier id is so that's what i want to tell like if you open suppliers table so in suppliers table you will find supplier id right can you see so now in this case this analysis will not be possible if we don't join all of them suppose here we have supplier cities okay like this is a supplier from london city exotic liquids they supply beverages okay someone is from asturias or melbourne or manchester so what happens is suppose someone asks you which supplier has supplied most number of products okay or which supplier from london supplies most number of products question in question you know granularity will increase like number of variables will increase category is one table okay and suppliers is one table but category is also connected to suppliers via products table right they are not directly connected like in suppliers table i don't have any column that is of category table okay and in category table i don't have any column of supplier table but in product table i have column of both supplier and category id so that is how i will be able to join or relate all of them together so let's learn three csv files at this moment yes yeah so yeah so my answer is, this is samples of a stored data set this is a separate data set okay yeah yeah three three two three yeah we need three why three because we have categories products and suppliers okay actually in this data set we have these 12 files you will learn how to connect all 12 of them okay but since you are beginning so i will focus on three of them okay categories products and suppliers okay i will focus on three of them so let's open another tableau here okay and this time because the files are in csv okay this time the files are in csv so we will connect the text file so a student usually get confused why when we are connecting csv why is csv not written there but actual answer is uh, csv in itself is a text file okay so we will connect text file so now we have located the data set okay and select any one of them because all of them are in the same folder okay so we will select product because product is like the central file for us will when we will select product you can see on one side you will see all of them right because they are all in the same folder so you will see all of them now we have products okay in product we have product id all of these columns now what we can do we can drag suppliers here okay because we know product in products we have information of suppliers so in supplier id in product is equal to supplier id in supplier table okay similarly we will drag categories also so when we drag categories so this it will automatically connect that category id in category id this right and this way we have this data okay now again as i said this is going to be a long discussion in the next part but in this case also 
let us because I know you do not know, but I know that uh, you know order table is also connected with products. So, order details table, order details table actually. So, we will connect order details. So, it will connect like this, but it is not able to recognize, right. So, if if we open the order details table where order details are actually given. So, in order detail table, we have product ID, okay, but it is not Tableau is not able to recognize. So, what we will do is we will say in product table, we have product ID, in order table, we have product ID. Here, the case is different. Here, product ID is written with one space and P is capital. Here, product ID is written without a space and P is a small, right. Now, once we have once we have you know uh, equated them or made them uh, compare them so then yeah defining the relationship yeah defining the relationship because in this uh, table products table product id was actually written differently right and in this table it was written differently. So, if Tableau is not able to recognize, we can always tell Tableau that okay, this column from this left hand side table is equal to this column from right hand side. Remember in your mathematics, we used to do LHS is equal to RHS, something like that, okay. And this is very much simple, uh, similar to the SQL joins that we create, but somewhat different. Now, we, uh, we have order details table and order table is connected to it. So, with order details we will connect orders, okay. So, I can go on and on, but today I will just uh, limit myself up to these three tables and then you can go to sheet and then you will analyze, okay. So, now you have categories, order details, products, suppliers, okay. Now, as a new uh, employee or as a company, uh, you know, as an analyst, it is sometimes very difficult to understand these relationships, okay. Like how will you be able to do this on random data sets, right, like real time data sets. So, what happens is there is something called ER diagram, okay. So, here we are, we are on this website called Wikiversity and you can see we have this ER diagram, okay. Entity relationship diagram or ER diagram. Here you can see with products we connected what two tables, right? Supplier and category. Do you remember? Just now we did that, right? So, with product table we connected supplier and category. With product table, we also connected order detail. With order details, we connected orders. We did that, right? So, with order details, we connect orders, okay? Now, tell me, what are the tables connected with orders? Can you tell me? This is the order table. Order details, yeah. Customers and shippers. Right. So, how will you create the diagram? What you will do? You will see order details. You will drag shippers. Okay. Now, it is not able to understand. Okay. So, again, you will do the same thing. Like, you will see which column is there. So, there is column called ship via shipper and this is shipper id, okay. So, you you will join here. Similarly, what are the customer and employee, right. So, you take customer table from here and employee table from here. So, it is processing and employee, right. So, this way, with the help of ER diagram also, you will be able to build the entire relationship in time. 
okay if you get data like this and then you will just go to sheet and start analyzing okay what i want to give you a, a one more important thing so we have these 50 questions that belong to this very data set okay so which has all these tables connected okay so we will learn all of them okay we will learn how to solve these 50 questions and when you will do some questions from your end then you will understand a lot of you know operations in tableau a lot of you know things and how to do stuff in tableau this is the basic idea okay so today you learn how to join things right how to how to relate tables how to create relationships if a data set has three sheets how to join them if a data set has 12 sheets or 10 sheets how to join them right this is something uh, that you will practice on your own and uh, then you will once you uh, get hold of this like how to join them how to relate them then we will start analyzing this type of thing. okay so now now let's get started with our samples to a store data set where we have orders people and returns okay so in tableau when you have to create a graph okay suppose just click on show me okay so uh, just I'm, I'm holding when we have to create a graph in tableau these are some graphs that tableau offers okay so you can see here all of them are grayed out that means you cannot select any one of them but the thing is when i am taking my mouse cursor over any of them this data is changing just focus on this data okay like it is currently what is it saying for packed bubbles try one more dimension or one or two measure okay so let's say for horizontal bar it is saying zero or more dimension and one or more measure okay so all you need to do is and where will you do that actually right so you can see we have drop field here drop field here drop field here and this is also an area where you can drop field okay so what you need to do is just select a field from here drop here okay something will happen okay but what we need to do is we have to very systematically understand things so just as a beginner if you are trying to create a graph let's say you want to calculate segment wise sales okay so you will just first of all rename your sheet like what are you trying to do segment wise sales okay so we are going segment by sales here in tableau we have these sheets we can add these sheets okay so these sheets are added so that we can analyze different things for example in this space you have to answer 50 questions you cannot answer all 50 of them in one sheet okay so what you will do is you will create separate sheets for answering separate questions okay so that's what needs to be done and then there is this thing called dashboard okay what is a dashboard a dashboard is actually a collection of different sheets okay we will learn that later so and there is one more thing called a story which i will explain later so in tableau you can create these three type of visualizations or three type of reports one is only a sheet one is a dashboard and one is a story okay how a dashboard looks a very basic dashboard i will just show you this is one dashboard of ipl okay like which batsman is has scored most runs baller who has taken most wickets 
total number of sixes hit in the tournament so far you know which team has won most number of matches which player has won most number of man of the matches and so on this is a very basic dashboard okay similarly we also have one dashboard like this where we have profit and sales dashboard so although these are, these are not the best of the dashboards we have but the it is interactive you know and uh, you can click on elements you can actually create filters also which we will learn later let uh, let's say i click on profit so i will only see profit line and only profit will be highlighted if i click on sales only sales line and sales will be highlighted so a dashboard is actually collection of mini sheets this is one sheet this is another this is third this is fourth here also we have connected many such sheets okay so that's how we will create dashboards which is kind of our end result okay so let's draw very basic graphs today segment wise sales so here segment wise sales so segment is a dimension which you will drag into columns and it will create these segments for you so in segment we have three distinct values consumer corporate and home office although we have 10000 rows in you know orders we have 10000 rows but in segment it's a nominal variable nominal variable has only <coughs> three or four distinct values and when we have only three or four distinct values then the measure will always be an aggregate measure okay so by aggregate we mean i i told this in previous class also aggregate when we have group when we have group the variable or group the values then aggregate is used so aggregate functions are sum minimum maximum count count distinct variance standard deviation average and maybe some more which i will explain later so tell me one thing if there is only one value can you sum it or tell minimum or maximum right there has to be more than one value for you to sum minimum maximum count and all right so you have to see the data in such a way that if you are considering all rows okay so at the level of every row sale is only this much what is written here right if we consider it as row wise but if we consider it as segment wise please understand so in segment wise we don't have 10000 segments we have 10000 row ids but we don't have 10000 segments right so when we do segment wise it is actually going to be only three cases right and when there when there is going to be three cases so we have to use any aggregate value because three versus 10000 we cannot do right so three versus 10000 so that's why we use sum average or whatever measures i mentioned here when the data is actually grouped okay when we use a nominal variable if we do row wise then we tell. so i i will give you both examples today and which you will revise and tell so when we did segment here the next thing i have to do is just drag sales here and it will create a simple bar graph why bar graph bar graph says you need zero or more dimension and one or more measure okay so we already have that right now suppose i want to make this bar horizontal currently it is vertical so we have this icon which is called swap rows and columns okay if you click this your bar becomes horizontal 
sometimes reading data like this is better sometimes like this is better whatever you prefer is it clear anusha to you so this is our bar graph now suppose someone say no i don't like the blue color so what you can do is you can change blue to green or to yellow or whatever color you pick okay you can create a border also like there is a very small border here which you will be able to see this is the border color you can use a different border color also so this this type of thing can be done now. okay if you want to change the size like you can see you know size so these marks cards are actually a customization of your graph or report here. okay like how will you customize for example we have used color color will change the color size will change the size what will label do so what is this data showing actually this data is showing us that in consumer section we have most number of sales sum of sales corporate second home office third okay but the amount of sales is only visible when we hover the mouse over these bars okay it is not visible by default so if you want to make something or some data visible by default you just drag that variable to label so we just drag sales to label okay then now you can see sales amount on top of these bars is it clear so yeah sure when we created the graph we can see three bars only when we hover our mouse over any of these bars then only the sales amount is visible like 11 lakh 61401 this amount is only visible yeah but if you want to show that data or any of these data right what you can do is just drag that variable on this card okay so from here to this card okay and when you will leave it it will start showing that okay so this is how you can show now this is the number right so you can right click on it and format okay again i am showing so right click on this number and you can then format right so format option will come so in format you have option to you know change the worksheet font size You can see the font size is increased. Okay. You have option to change data pane font size, like only this data pane. Okay. Header font size or color. You can see. So what I will do is, because formatting is something which is not a very difficult task. Okay. Or not very important task. I will say at this moment for a beginner. So. formatting is something that i will teach you later okay but this i am just telling you so that you know that you can customize things in tableau like you can change the background color you can change the font color font size you know font case everything can be done so this is something that we have created segment wise sales okay you can always make it horizontal and vertical you can always make it ascending and descending order okay ascending descending okay so this is how you can create a graph similarly if you have to create another graph you open a sheet here another sheet okay and in this sheet we are going to do region wise sales let's say we are going to create data related to sales so th there we are going region wise sales okay and we are going to do pie chart now in pie chart what what is the minimum requirement 
वन डायमेंशन एंड वन मेजर इट इज द मिनिमम रिक्वायरमेंट ओके सो रीजन वाइज सेल्स तो वॉट आई विल डू इज आई विल ड्रैग रीजन टू द कॉलम सो अगेन बिकॉज आई हैव ड्रैग्ड इट इन द कॉलम एंड वॉट इज कॉल वेर इज कॉलम इन द टेबल ऑन टॉप राइट सो इट इज शोइंग दैट इन रीजन वी हैव ओनली फोर रीजन्स ओके एंड वी विल ड्रैग सेल्स है बाई डिफॉल्ट इट विल ऑलवेज क्रिएट बार ग्राफ फॉर यू इन दिस कॉम्बिनेशन देन यू कैन चूज दिस ओके सो आई सेलेक्टेड पाई अगेन इट वॉज बार आई क्लिकड ऑन पाई आई गॉट पाई देर इज वन मोर वे I go here and click pi, okay. But here we only get all four circles. But if you want to create actual pie chart like this, you click here. Okay. Now this is region wise say, it is looking very small, okay. So write down one shortcut, control plus shift plus B, okay, to make the graphs bigger. Like image or the graph bigger. Okay. So let's try Control Shift B. Okay, it has become bigger. So when when you have reached your required size, Control B to make it smaller. Control plus B smaller. Okay. so this is something uh, some uh, shortcuts that you have to remember here you have different options like data worksheet dashboard story which we will analyze but view data explain data map format so we will discuss about this also right but right now you are learning very basic things so now we have done control b control shift b this much now when you will click here you will see legend is also there okay so this legend means blue region is central orange is east red is south and this another blue is west but it is very difficult to visualize from here so what we can do is since it's region we can drag region over label okay and since we are analyzing sales i will drag sales also so we can drag more multiple columns on one major card also okay so this way i am able to see in central region we have 5 lakh 1214 in east this much in south this much okay so this way i have now complete data and we have one sheet here one sheet here now we will go to dashboard new dashboard okay first i will select the size of this dashboard so width i will increase to 800 pixel so you can see the width increasing okay i will drag segment so this give me segment i will drag region this is the region okay you can see a very small dashboard that we have developed right we only have two sheets but it is telling us segment wise and region wise sales both okay if someone is analyzing let's say west right so we have that type of filters we will learn about adding filters later like sheet wide filters or dashboard wide filters like if we suppose want to add country as a filter category as a filter or city as a filter or any other variable as a filter we will learn that but right now you can see our simple dashboard is created so this is going to be your task for now okay uh, i want to see that you will create all of this and after creating all of this you will also share screenshots with me okay now one very important thing when we analyze data in tableau public we cannot save the file in our computer okay we can only save it to tableau public 
okay what is tableau public tableau public is actually the public server so please uh, do, don't analyze any you know confidential data here it is for public analysis just for you know learning purpose so that is why tableau public if a company has personal data confidential data that they want to analyze they can use the paid version of tableau which we will deal with later so once you will do that your sheets will be saved here okay whatever you will analyze you will sheet will be shared here like we were doing north wind 50 question analysis okay so in 50 question analysis we were saving this uh, so actually i have somewhere where i have 20 30 sheets somewhere so at different stages i teach these two students so you will see very basic data here but you also have to prepare your tableau public profile okay your tableau public profile will actually showcase your work like if someone asks you what what have you done what type of analysis have you done so you can take these public data sets and create a very stunning dashboard or create you know very interesting piece of uh, stories or analysis whatever you want to present so it's some creativity also there yeah. so just do this much share some report with me all you have to do is when when your analysis is done click on save to tableau public and then just log in with your tableau account okay put your email and password here and just sign in if you don't have account create an account and then log in so show me this much so that i also have confidence that now you understand this and then we can move further okay